near the dam of the, a new mega hydropower project in southwest China. It sits on the Jinsha River, the upper section of the Yangtze, and straddles the provinces of Sichuan and Yunnan. With a total installed capacity of 16 million kilowatts, it is the second largest hydropower station in the world in terms of installed capacity, second only to the Three Gorges Dam project in the central province of Hubei. It is equipped with 16 hydro generating units, each with a capacity of 1 million kilowatts, the largest in the world. Starting from today, two such units have been put into use as started generating electricity. And now, follow our camera to see more. In the underground powerhouse, there are 16 hydro generating units together with 16 rotors. The rotor, a core component of the unit, weighs 1,955 tons. It can spin at a speed of 111 revolutions per minute with a swing of only 0.05 millimeters, as thin as a thread of an adult's hire. The strong stability of the rotors can ensure the long-term safe operation of the units. Okay, now follow me to see what the dam is like. And now I have to wear the helmet to ensure my safety. So, let's go. So, behind me is the Baihe Tan Dam. And actually, a dam is an important building of a hydropower station project and it undertakes the important task of water retaining and flood control. And you can see that the water is crossing from the upstream to the downstream area. And here is the Sichuan province. And the water just crosses from the Yunnan province. And the dam of Baihe Tang is a 300 meter super high concrete hyperbolic arm dam with a maximum dam height of 289 meters and a crest guard length of, in, of 709 meters. The concrete pouring of the dam started in, in April 20, 2017 and ended in late May with a total casting volume of 8.03 million cubic meters for its main body. And you can see that uh, the structure of the dam is really solid and actually the concrete pouring is very hard. Since the pouring began, thermal cracking has not been found on the dam. And it is really significant, marking that China has completely mastered the key technology of temperature control and crack prevention of mass concrete. So up to now, about thousands of workers and staff have contributed their power to building the dam and also other parts of the hydropower station. And now follow our camera and I'll show you the view on the dam. And as I mentioned before that uh, the Baihe Tan hydropower station is the second largest hydropower station in the world in terms of installed capacity. And the workers and staff here have been working for uh, 1,510 days non-stop during the past years. So as a Chinese, I'm very proud that uh, my country can have such a huge project and, I very, and I'm also very proud that uh, the workers are very diligent and they are willing to contribute it, to contribute their power and their energy and also their time to building this dam, this hydropower station. I do know that uh, some of the workers told us that uh, there is a very special group in the dam area 
they are called the Baihetan babies. So you know what, what are, uh, who are the Baihetan babies? The Baihetan babies are the children who were born during the construction of the project. So many workers here, they found their husband here, they found their wife here, and also they delivered their babies. So uh, the construction of the dam is like a, one of the most significant moments in their life. So this is not only the dam, this is, uh, this is uh, how to say that, this is a life for many workers here. And you can see that today the weather is so good with cloud and it's not hot, but actually the hydropower station is located in the valley with very dry, with, with very uh, dry and hot climate. So especially in summer, the workers it's very, uh, it's very hard for the workers to work outside and also underground because uh, the temperature is really high and uh, there, there's always humid, uh, humid air. So, uh, so in, the past, in the past years, uh, for most people, building the dam and also building the hydropower station are quite challenging for their body and also for their mind. And the completion of the dam also signals that the massive project will be able to play its designed role in controlling floods. And the hydropower project is a major source of power for China's west to east power transmission project. And the station is also a key part of flood control system in the Yangtze. The Three Gorges Corporation, which builds the dam and also uh, the hydropower station, said it's a milestone project with epoch-making significance in the history of hydropower project development. So no wonder it's the second largest in the world. And once it is in full operation in July next year, and that means that all the 16 hydro generating units are running. The daily output of the station is expected to be sufficient to meet the annual household power consumption of half a million people. Generating that much power every day over the course of a year would take almost 20 million tons of standard coal. And I can show you a figure. According to the National Bureau of Statistics of China, the country consumed 4.98 billion tons of standard coal last year. So you can see that the clean energy, the hydropower is really important in the ecological development for a country. So maybe you can hear the sound of the water. And the water is generating electricity with the hydro generating units underground. And the workers here also call the dam an intelligent dam.
they can know the precise data from the app on their phone about the uh, uh, water wa about the amount of the water and also the temperature on the dam to make sure that the downstream area can get sufficient water and also to make sure that the dam body would not suffer from the thermal cracking. So for your information, the construction of the Three Gorges Dam project, the largest hydropower station in the world in terms of installed capacity, began in 1994. And before that, Chinese engineers were not able to manufacture a hydro generating unit with a capacity of more than 350,000 kilowatts. But now, at the Baihetan hydropower station, one hydro generating unit can have the capacity of 1 million kilowatts. So it's a great lead for the Chinese engineers and also for the nation. And now, let's expect more about the Chinese mega projects together. Thank you for watching Xinhua Live.